Before we start working on our engine buildup, I want to talk a little bit about tools. If you start out with a basic mechanics tool set, you're going to have a pretty good head start on what you need. All right, here's our hub out of the oven. We'll align our, our keyway. Slides right on. Want to go ahead and get our bolt in there right away. Get it started. Then we'll grab our impact wrench. And hammer it until it quits turning. And now we're going to let this cool. And once that normalizes, then we'll remove that bolt. We'll put some Loctite on it and we'll go ahead and torque it to the proper torque. But for now, so we're ready to pick the crank up and set it in the case. I'm just going to grab it by a couple of connecting rods. It's kind of heavy. So we just drop it right in there. The connecting rods down into their appropriate holes. I'm going to look at my, look, find my witness mark in the back here so that I can get my dowel pin lined up in the back. Get that so it feels like it's going in. There we go. And we'll look for our dowel pin marking on these front bearings as well. There's that one. But in either case, you want the little flat to be pressing against the valve stem. So you want to make sure that you align the ball so that it's going to press against the valve stem with the flat. And that's especially important when you do the final installation of your rocker arms. But for right now, we're just going to look at how this rocker arm aligns with the valve stem right here. You remember in a previous clip that we uh, temporarily installed the flywheel and I talked about the fact that the pins on the end of the crankshaft are set in such a way that uh, the flywheel will only go on in one orientation. Oh. The exhaust on the normally aspirated engine comes in uh, a left and a right side like we have here. Uh, there'll be two uh, uh, mirror image parts they bolt on the head. The exhaust on the turbo is one complete weldment, all four cylinder down pipes, and then it crosses over in the back and has your turbo mount on it. Either way, the installation is basically the same. What, what you'll do is you'll need your exhaust itself, you'll need your exhaust gaskets, and your fasteners to uh, get it on there. What I usually do is get one side lined up and get a fastener started. 